Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rodney with E Fishing, and today we've made it down to Dale Hollow. It's cold, it's in the 20s. Well, we're gonna see if we can't catch some of them big old brown fish. So hang on, we'll see what we can do. We're gonna go fishing later. Good fish. There we go. Ah! Ah, ah, ah! Hate it when that happens. There's another one lost, folks. Trying to rush. Another one on the silver, buddy. Anyways. That's a good one, folks. That's a good nerd. Well, not. Just lost another one. So, since it's getting a little bright and sunny here, um, We'll make a bait change and I'm going to get out a, a straight silver, uh, silver buddy type lure. I've been using a gold with some chartreuse on it, but since it's got a little bright, I'm going to change up. Sometimes that's that brighter, that silver one is good when it's sunny like this. It makes a, it flashes a lot and makes a lot of commotion, at least in the flashing deal, and uh, sometimes can attract one. So the deal we got right here, we got a little point coming off of this bluff end here and the, the river channel is swinging out to my right there and <clears throat> we've got a little uh, gravelly point here. So the boat's probably sitting in oh, 35 feet of water or so and uh, that point up there is probably about 5 or so foot up there pretty close to the bank and uh, I'm just working that silver buddy on out out almost underneath the boat one on Dale Hollow. He ain't big, but he's something else. I'll take it on the silver buddy. See if we can't get us another one. Guys, 
call it a rock. How about that? I call it a rock. It's one of them days. All right, here's a good spot to throw this silver buddy on. This little secondary point, it's kind of got some gravel and some boulders on it. Y'all can see that. Cool. Throw it right up there on that point like that, and we're gonna let it go to the bottom. Now, see, it's hit the bottom. And to work the silver buddy, you just wanna pick the slack up and let it fall back. And when you pick it up, just pick the slack up. Don't pick it up too much. And then wind your slack up after your bait hits the bottom again. And just keep doing that all the way back to the boat. And hopefully, you'll get one to jack it. Let's see what we can do here. go to the bottom and then just picking the slack up in the line. And it looks like I'm popping it really far but really when you just pick that slack up you're only moving it a couple inches maybe six inches maybe a foot but not very much and when I feel that thing start to vibrate it's when I it's when I stop pull it over something right there and those fish they can be anywhere from right up there on the bank to out here under the boat almost And usually it don't take too long on the point to figure out if one's there. So let's hop on up here to this other point right here. Now this is the main lake point and it's got a little more rock on it. And we're going to try to keep the boat in probably 30 to 35 foot of water while we're doing this. Alright, here we go. Throw it up there on the point. Probably about seven or eight foot right there. Let it go to the bottom. There, it hit the bottom. It's a little deeper than that. We're just gonna pick it up and work it back. And we're sitting in 40 foot, so it's a little deeper out here. This is a real steep point. Sometimes steep points in the winter time, fish will get on them. I don't know if there's any fish on these. I fished a couple of these today and haven't caught anything on them. So, the thing I've caught has been on those little gravelly type banks. Not these that's got rock on them. I'll make one more caster and then we're going to move. You can watch my line there. See how it's laid out there? It's on the bottom. So we'll pick it up. And sometimes when it's real steep, you just pick it up and let it fall down and it'll keep on falling. You don't have to take any slack up out of your line. We're still in the 40 foot of water.
See there, I didn't do any line. I just picked it up and let it fall back and it's still falling. All right, one more cast on the outside of this point. And you're just getting a rhythm with this. Throwing it out. Mm. Let me just come over some brush pile or something there. Sometimes that's a good thing. Alright. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Pretty fish, pretty fish. How's that? Let's let that one go. All right, guys, we're going to wrap that up. It's been our first trip down to Del Hollow. It's the first of January. It's kind of a little tough on me today. I've been kind of scooting around, trying different things, trying to figure things out today. But uh, I think we stumbled onto those uh, fish on a silver buddy today, so that might be something that might have keep happening here for the next couple of weeks. Um, Hope y'all learned a little bit about how to fish a silver buddy and how I like to fish it anyways. I don't know if I do it right or not, but I tend to kept, catch a few fish. We caught a few today. We got our tail kicked a couple times today, which, you know, can happen with big old smallmouth. Um, but that's all right. That's what makes it interesting. That's why we keep coming back, we keep getting better. So give me a thumbs up down there. Leave me a comment. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out. Leave a comment. Even if you didn't like the video, leave a comment. That helps out too. Uh, let me know what you all like. And let me know what you don't like too. That might help me get a little better at this YouTube thing. Anyways, I'm Rodney with eFishing. We'll catch you all next time. We're out.